Hi everyone! So it has been a while since I've come on and done a video with Poppy. Um, like a Poppy update, a life update, a bit of everything really. It's been a while and it's about 8 o'clock at night here right now and I probably look really bedraggled and tired. I am I'm actually exhausted. Look at my eye bags. They are bad. Say hi! Say hello! Um, basically, yeah, since I did Poppy's six, was it a six month, up? no, it was a five month update I did last, things have changed so, so, so much. Poppy's changed so much. My life has just got about five times more difficult, hasn't it? Because of you! Um, basically, about, I think it was a week, a week and a half, two weeks before Poppy hit six months, she started to crawl, well, as you've seen. Um, not really crawling a lot, just crawling, but not going from place to place, just doing it like with movements and stuff. And then it was a weekend of just, it was a weekend before she was six months. She's like going across the room, she's going all over. She's just like crawls really, really fast. She sees someone that she loves in front of her and she like crawls mega fast to him with her head down like proper putting some swag into it it really makes me laugh because Georgie did the exact same thing um when he was I think he was about seven and a half months though so Poppy's done it a lot earlier than any of my babies have done it's because you want to join in with them in it you want to join in with the chaos um she is happy at the moment, so we will make the most of this and get this video done while she's happy. Because this could, that the happy mood could soon change and she could turn into the little screaming baby, Stroppy Poppy. Yes, Stroppy Poppy. <laughs> so, she is six months old now. She's a little over six months, but I will say six months just because, you know, it makes it easier. I'm losing track kind of now in weeks of her age. Hair has grown loads. Um, I actually put a hair slide in it while she had a tea tonight just to stop food from getting into her hair because otherwise it gets all over. And yeah, it's growing loads at the front. It's growing at the back and catching up now. Ah, yeah, did she say, ah, yeah? Um, and she's just, you're my little gorgeous girl, aren't you? Just like your sisters, aren't you? Yeah? Um, as I said, the mood could change. She could go from being happy to screaming in a minute, so. <laughs> Pretty much straight after she started like crawling, she discovered how to pull herself up, which has been a little bit um, scary at times because she's not that steady on her feet so she's doing this but she's not like overly steady on her feet and I have to be with I feel like I have to be with her every single minute to catch her and it's really difficult to get like everything done that I want to get done because she, I can't leave her I just can't leave her on her own for a second I can put her in a jumper room but she will only tolerate that for a, a certain amount of time before she gets a bit cross we've not been able to do what she wants yes She's, she's very active and I don't know what she weighs. I can't update you on that because I was meant to go yesterday, but as usual, our plans got scuppered, didn't they? Didn't they? Um, so I really badly need to get away. I'm not concerned though, because she's putting on weight. She's the only dainty, but she's definitely putting on weight. And let's face it, development wise, you know, it's all going pretty well. Abba, you gonna blow some raspberries again? Um, weaning, we are in the full throes of weaning now. Now that she's hit six months, I've kind of knocked the purees that I was giving her on the head. Sometimes if we're, we're back home late from wherever it is we've been, I'll give her purees, but she, she's a bit funny with purees. She's, um, she will take them, but she will also like protest a bit at the same time. She, she much prefers to have the food in front of her to grab. And I've discovered she loves more texture to her food. She, she doesn't like smooth things apart from yogurts. She, I gave her meatballs last night. Obviously, I mashed them up a little bit. But she was able to grab them and eat them with pasta. And I was on the edge of my seat the whole time thinking, oh my God, oh my God, she's going to choke. But she was absolutely fine. 
and she sat there chewing with the gums, whatever it was that she was eating. You enjoy it, don't you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think the two bottom teeth that she's got here, they're about to erupt through the gums. I can see the lines, I can see where they're going to come through. Um, I presume that's why she's giving it a roll while she's eating and trying to chew on everything inside. She's just had to go with the tripod leg. Because if it's there, you will eat it, won't you? Um, she loves getting into mischief. She's always trying to get the things she shouldn't be getting and pulling herself up on the things she shouldn't be pulling herself up on. I just can't believe that she's like trying to stand up and pulling herself up to stand in. Um, she's done a few steps cruising. With my other kids, I was like, yeah, I'll go get some cruising shoes, but Poppy's feet are so tiny, look. She's got tiny little feet. There is no way I'm gonna get any cruising shoes to fit her. And to be fair, I think they're kind of a waste of money anyway, so I'll be like bypassing that, but. <laughs> what? You want kisses? You're very drivelly tonight. Um, <coughs> but she absolutely creases me. Whatever's there, she wants it, don't you? Poor Simba doesn't stand a chance for you now. Are you tired? You've got big hair on your nose. Oh. We've tried like lots of food with weaning and she absolutely loves everything. I think toast must be a favourite though, cheese on toast. She kind of sucks all the cheese off it and just goes for it. It's only been in the last few days that she's settled down. Um, she has been really screamy before that. When I, I've stopped using the tandem pushchair now, I've, bought, I've actually bought a, um, a stroller and I've just pitched Georgie on the back like I used to with, with Bobby when Georgie was Poppy's age. And she doesn't scream in the pushchair anymore. She, I think because it was hard for her to see things in the tandem because she was at the back. But now she's fine because there's so much going on that she can look at and watch. And you can see all the doggies, can't you? And you can watch your brothers and sisters. You can. Yes. Oh, your hands are all wet, Poppy. So we don't have many as many tantrums as we was. Um, she's actually just come out of a leap as well, so I'm thinking maybe that had something to do with it. Um, <laughs> is that better? Is that better? I've also noticed that she starts to copy things that we do as well. I tried to record a video yesterday after she did it. Um, I was like shaking my head, going like that to her, like this, boom, 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 and she copied me. I tried to record it and post it on Instagram, but um, it was rubbish, so I boycotted it. She's done it a couple of times since, but I will be keeping on trying to get her to do that, but she definitely copied what I was doing, didn't you? You taking it all in? Are you saying, hi YouTube, how are you all doing today? How are you all doing today? You're teething, aren't you? She's definitely got brown eyes. They are big brown eyes now, just like mine and Bobby's and Holly and Emily's. And yeah, she's doing really well, guys. I can't, I can't really, I don't really know what to say. She's just doing fantastic. And she absolutely amazes me. Um, feeding wise, everything is just settled down. She still feeds loads, but it's settled down. We have no more like screaming fits when it's time to have a few sucks. Um, and everything's fine. Uh, with a light kind of life update, we've had our ups and downs in the last month, I'd say. I'm having a little bit of trouble with um, one of the girls. I don't really want to go into details of which one or for what reasons and what she's been doing, but I've been having a little bit of trouble I think I've mentioned it to you previously, but um, it's got to the point now where I've, I've kind of put my foot down with school and I've tried to get her a little bit of help and myself a little bit of support as well. It's really hard admitting to this, but as, a, as her mum, um, I want to do my best for her. So I feel that I'd, she needs some extra support to manage. Um, I don't know whether it's temper, a behaviour, but we'll find out once, once the tests and stuff start, start up. 
I am really concerned and I felt really crappy like a really crap parent as well over the last few days. You know when you just feel like you're telling your child off all the time and you're thinking mm, I'm grounding her, I'm taking this off her, I'm taking that off her and I feel like a horrible mum. But you know they need to know that boundaries are set in place and they need to know that if they're naughty, like really naughty like I've had to deal with, then you know you need to have boundaries and they need to know that there's a punishment you also need to give them lots of love as well um, and I think that is probably the most important thing when they're like playing up the way that I've had them playing up you need to make sure they still know that you love them but I am so relieved that finally school are listening to me and thinking that yeah maybe there is a behavioural issue in there too because academically wise she's doing brilliantly it's just literally the choices and decisions that she makes. And with a start in secondary school this month, we need to get this sorted and I don't want to because she's going to a much bigger school, I don't want things I don't want her slipping through the net and getting forgotten about because she do, I, th I feel personally that she does need some extra support. Um but yeah it's been really difficult. I felt like crying most of the week to be honest with you. And I felt like a real crap mum. Um oh, do you want some milk? Yeah, I felt like a real crap mum, but I guess that all you can do ultimately at the end of the day is support, is love and support your child, which is which is what I'm doing. And I just wish that school had listened to me sooner and given us this help sooner. So yeah, um, <laughs> it's been chaos. It's been complete chaos as always in this house. So yeah, I thought it was about time I did like a little update like this and. Uh, I'm going to go feed this little lady and get her off to bed and I'm so tired as well. So yes, I hope that you guys are all alright and I'll see you all soon. Bye!